In this video, I'll show you two ways to make text reflections inside KineMaster. First thing I'll do is tap Media Browser, then Background. I'll select a solid colored background. Here's a bonus tip for solid colored backgrounds. If you've ever thought the selection was a bit limited, don't worry. You can change the color of your solid colored background to any color you choose from the Options menu. I'll also turn on the vignette for this layer. Then I'll jump back to the beginning of the timeline. Now I need to add some text. I'll type out the word reflection in all caps, then press OK. I'll scale the layer up and remove the default shadow. Then I'll change the font to something more bold. OK, time to add our first reflection. With the text layer selected, tap the menu at left, and then select duplicate. Tap on the bottom text layer, and then scroll down to Rotate Mirroring. Mirror the layer horizontally. Drag the mirrored layer directly below the first. Then tap Alpha Opacity, and drag the slider down to about 40%. This looks okay, but it might help if there was a horizon line to ground it. I'm going to add a handwriting layer. Tap Layer, Handwriting. Choose the Brush tool. Change your color to black. And choose the largest size brush available. Then I'm just going to draw a line straight across the screen. If you don't like the line, there's an undo button at the top left corner of the screen. The line doesn't have to be perfect. Tap this icon to go back to the layer options and scale the layer up. You want the line to have a nice soft edge. Then drop the opacity. I'll go down to about 35%. Send the handwriting layer to the back. Now our reflection looks pretty good, but there's one downside. The reflection is not connected to the original text, so if you animate one, you have to animate the other too. Sometimes this will work. For example, if I change the in animation on my text layer to slide right, then I do the same for the mirrored layer. and the reflection still looks pretty good. However, if I change the in animation to something like drop and do the same for the mirrored layer, now the effect doesn't work so well. This animation is not behaving like a real reflection. So let's take a look at a second method for creating text reflections. I'm going to delete my mirrored text layer. Then I'll tap Layer, Effect. If you don't have it downloaded already, download the mirror effect. Scroll down to the Get More button to access the Asset Store. Then tap the mirror effect. You can install it from here. Since I already have it installed, I'll just tap mirror and then mirror H for horizontal. Scale the layer to fill the screen. 
I'll just move that layer over to the beginning of the timeline. Then select Settings, Reflect Top. Move your text layer into position so that the reflection matches. Then I'll drop the opacity of the mirror effect down to about 40%. Now as I scrub through the timeline, you can see that the reflection is working the way it should. In fact, most any in animation looks good now. You could even try adding a custom animation. I'll tap on the text layer, then tap the keyframe button. I'll scroll ahead and add a keyframe, then go back to the beginning and change the position of the layer. And maybe scale it down a little bit. So the animation isn't that impressive, but the good thing is the reflection is working just like it should. Just remember with the mirror effect that your background will be reflected too. So choose a background that looks like a reflective surface for best results. Or just experiment and see what you get. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And you can see many more tutorials in my KineMaster playlist.